Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's the weekend. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, and it's gonna be an amazing day. I can just sense it. I can feel it. The sun is out. Everyone's in a chirpy mood except Charlotte. Uh, and it is going to be an amazing day. I am not here on my own. No, it's like buses shows for us. We didn't get one for ages and then days of them come along. Colin's back. We're here together for three days. I'm amazing. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get through it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> if the good news is we're here for three days. If you don't like us, the bad news is we're also here for three days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, what we got coming up today then? It's I am hoping for lots of whooshy gluing today. It's going to be say. all about the glue because it's all about the flowers today. They've let me loose on flowers. So I absolutely love it. We've got loads and loads of Gemini um, dyes with the flowers. We've got our um, foam and we've got some lovely, lovely ones from Sharon Callis. Now Sharon Callis is here tonight she's letting me go home early so she's coming in to do um, a show later this this afternoon but I'm going to do a few of her flowers during the day today I'm going to use some of her dyes some of her stamps it's going to be absolutely fantastic but there's going to be flowers everywhere I can just show you look at this this is what I've been doing at home preparing nice. all my flowers look at this I've just started I'm going to hopefully get to finish this start this rose for you that's gorgeous yeah no dyes involved just the foam right. all done by hand amazing yeah we'll show you how good. to do that really it's easy it's gonna be a great day and also mm. the other reason it's gonna be a great day do you fancy an extra five percent off everything uh we're gonna give you an extra five percent off for club inspire members so that means that if you are um, a platinum member you get 25 percent off gold members where you get 15 percent off we're going to upgrade you and get 20 percent off so everyone's going to get sort of a taste of the next level of the club until though midnight tomorrow so you're going to have to be quick if you want to take advantage of that lots of you tuning in and saying hello already uh, this morning uh, Grace is our social media superstar today which is wonderful for our first, sh first show uh, Rihanna says good evening from a cold Ballarat Australia I hope you're doing well thing is with Australia I always forget Corinne that as it comes into our summer of course it's coming into their winter exactly, exactly. Uh, but it's all right this way round but when it comes to the end of our summer and all my Australian friends are posting about the first days of summer I get very jealous and very smug at the moment uh, Sam McDonald is in Darlington Stephen saying hello the lovely Lynn is here uh, Georgia Barbara uh, Sandy is uh, on the Treasure Coast in Florida glorious uh, Laura's in as well um, Roslyn's in Maryland and Lorna Jane is in the Scottish borders as well now as well as uh, the extra five percent off we have also got an incredible deal for you oh my word you wait until you see this so incredible value uh, craft boxes or craft kits that we bring to you um, some of you get them as part of the monthly subscription over in the US or you buy them directly from us here at Crafters TV in the UK 24.99 pounds or dollars incredible value these absolutely loaded full of goodies this one has got three embossing folders a cut and emboss folder you've got die cut sentiments die cut flowers stamps card blanks envelopes ribbons colored card printed papers and gems however when you go for this one you get a free mystery bag Ooh, worth £55 or $75. And let me show you. And the other great thing is it's full of other great embossing folders. So uh, you could be getting some of our classic ones. This one here is the uh, pattern swirls. We've got some of the slimline ones in here. We've also got some of our Sarah signature ones. Uh, so maybe some masquerade ball ones you're going to receive in here too. Uh, some 2D ones. You've got some big 3D ones in there. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these ones just here. So you will get loads of embossing folders. You get as well. a lot of embossing folders for your money, don't you? So you get, how many you got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine embossing folders for wow. free and the craft kit's excellent value uh, as it is contents may vary uh, on the embossing folders if you buy more than one of this deal i mean why wouldn't you you may get some duplicates so do bear that in mind oh and so you get you get even more off if you're platinum don't you for 18 pounds 74 wow wowzers trousers uh, that's why 20 percent of the stock has already gone on this meant to be here all weekend i'm not sure it will last the day uh looking at how fast uh, that has been going we're going to look next at these gorgeous items sharon will be here with so you've got uh play your crafts right oh yeah there's play. so much going on we've got about the game I know. um are you feeling confident today corinne hopefully 
If yeah. I can't work out what the products are, I'm in a bit of trouble, aren't okay. I? Okay, so it's going to be you, guess the product. You uh, missed the, the Eurovision one that we did when I you know. went here. How did you do? Before. Jan beat me on by one. What did, was there some obscure ones in there? There was a couple, but it was basically a spelling test. Oh, okay. But we, yeah, it was still hard. Yeah, it was still I, hard. I'm glad I missed it. I really am. I'm still crying about Eurovision, to be honest, Corrie. They kept giving us flags, and Jan and I were like, well... The, yeah, th that didn't help at all. When you are really, really bizarre yeah. countries, the flags Does anyone know what in. the Montenegrin flag is? No, not really, <laughs> no. not really. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this is an amazing deal. So we've got this show for you, Play Craft. So I'll be playing for YouTube, currently we're playing for Facebook. No, uh, other way around. I'm Facebook, you're yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, well, let's keep it as it is. I'll be Facebook, currently we'll be YouTube. Um, we don't need to flip a coin, it's fine, Charlotte. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's let's flip a coin. We'll flip a coin and see who's going to play got a coin? for who. I've, uh, I've like, got a coin, actually. Yeah, never. Got... I mean, I never have any money. Right, we'll do it now. Ready? Heads or okay. tails? I go out heads. It's tails. You can choose now. I Which choose, one do you like? Uh, you don't, I didn't show you. It might have been heads. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again. Right. Heads, you're playing for YouTube. Heads, you're playing for Facebook. No. <laughs> Heads, you're... <laughs> we, should, we definitely didn't rehearse this, did we? Heads, I'm playing for YouTube. Tails, I get You Facebook. get Facebook. It's heads. I'm YouTube. You are YouTube. Right. I'm going to write it on the board, quick. You write it on your board. Um, but whoever's team wins, we, we will um, pick five winners at random, which is brilliant. I mean, that's two minutes of our life. We'll never get back there, Corinne. Uh, uh, let's have a look at these. Um, these are amazing. Garden floral set. So 2 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast, we'll have that amazing uh, flower forming masterclass, which is going to be great because that's how, when we first met you, we yeah. uh, were doing flowers. That's how I, what, was. How I sort yeah. of remember you. So it's something yeah. you love, isn't it? It really is. I've, I was just, yesterday and the day before, I've just been engrossed in foam and flowers and paper and dyes, and it's been absolutely fantastic. Amazing. Can't wait to see what you come up with in that later show. And then a bit later this evening, 6 p.m. in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, uh, Sharon Callis will be here joining us live from Ireland which is always fun and it's this particular collection we're going to look at the garden floral set it's a lovely collection there's some really really beautiful flowers uh, within here 99.99 or 123.65 uh, is what you're going to pay for this if you platinum though today 74.99 which is excellent I'll just quickly run you through then what you're going to get in here so this one is the mountain rose some like really nice unusual flowers in this one Corin, mm. isn't there and don't get worried about the dyes i know they look a little bit different mm. but they're really easy to use and we're going to do quite a few today that one is the orchid then we've got the champagne rose champagne Ooh. for everyone darling uh, then the lily as well then you've got the ranunculus and you've also got the tea rose we also have embossing folders in here as well I so you've got the one. Really nice, aren't they? Ornate tiles. These are going to work with so many other things. You've also got your divine blooms in there. Then you are getting some dies in here. Again, super versatile, these dies. Lovely frames. This is your pretty posies frame. And then you've got your rose bliss frame. And then what you have are all of your papers, which are designed to go with your different flowers, which is fantastic. So uh, you've got all these in here. This one is for your champagne rose, your lily, mountain peony the uh, Perfect Petals Pad Orchid, and also the Ranunculus as well. 99.99, 123.65. Remember, really, you're all gonna get an extra 5% off, which is brilliant. Uh, Joe looks like a Dalmatian today uh, in that shirt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Very, yeah. I mean, I wish I was as lean as a Dalmatian, but not quite. Kelly Jones says, you two are too funny. Oh, we try, don't we? We do try. Um, Chrissy says, morning to all my favourite CCTV crew, and what a great day it's going to be with lovely Joe and Corinne. Ah, oh, lovely to have you in, Christine, from the Netherlands. Hoi, hoi. We've got more deals to show you. Gosh, we've got so many deals on the show today. This one, you guys love this. You'll be seeing this in the Mater Last Class. I love that. We're going to see it in the first demo. The Mater Masterclass. Mm. Uh, I think that was meant to be the later Masterclass. And it is from our Bell Countryside. You pay for the dice, £14.99. And the ferns are worth £9.99. But you're not paying that because you've got a 20% saving. 
but you only pay 14 99 which is the cost of the dies. If you're platinum today, you get that for free. I think that is a blooming great deal. If you want to place an order, you can do so easily. Crafters TV, uh, no, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Uh, hit the shop the day button. Uh, a third gone on that already. I think we're going to have a really, really busy day. I think I better stop waffling, Corinne. We're about to get to the demo before things start to sell out. Okay, so shall we have a have a go at doing some bits and pieces then? Yes, please. Okay, right. So I'm going to get together and I'm going to make my card base first. So I'm going to take um, Sharon Carris, it's that ornate tiles. So this is an absolute gorgeous. Now this is a 3D embossing folder. Oh, somebody's been doing some colouring. Let me see, just, I don't want that. I didn't didn't think to check inside. Who should we blame? Probably I Debbie Robinson. Oh. Well, she always gets the blame when things are not cleaned out properly. Does she? Yeah, because it is always her usually. Because you see, these are going to be absolutely brilliant for your letter pressing because they're 3D um, um, embossing folders, so they will work perfectly for that. So because it's 3D, we're gonna change our plates slightly. So I've got my normal plate combination, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out one of my clear plates. So I'm left with a clear plate, a magnetic shim, and my plastic shim. And that's all you need for a 3D embossing folder. So I've got a piece of card, just slightly smaller than my emboss detail. And then I'm gonna pop this in here. It's white card, so I haven't had to worry about have I got it upside down the right way round or anything like that, because it doesn't really matter. So I put it into my um, plates, and then I'm gonna offer those up to my machine. So because it's um, less than an A5 size embossing folder, I've been able to use my A5 plates just for a bit of speed. There we go, and that's popped straight back out. It does come out with a bit of a bump because of it being so detailed. Now, can nice. you look at that. That's amazing. Wow, look at that. Can you just see? You're going to use this for loads of different products, Oh, yeah. Aren't you? Now, the only thing I would say is remember, die cut first, emboss second. Okay. Because that is an amazing amount of embossed detail, and we wouldn't want to flatten no. it. So once I've got it to there, I'm going to get two of my ink pads. So I've got my pink tulip and my fuchsia, and I was just cleaning my ink pad these up earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my pink tulip first. And I love this because although you can... I mean, look at that. Sometimes when we have embossing folders on, the, on these shows... We have to go, can you just about see yeah, the embossed? Yeah, not with this one. But not with this. So I'm going to pick up my pink tulip and I'm going to go round the edge with this and I'm going to bring that one down into the centre a little bit. But I'm going to let it sort of grayed out, out. So we're going to sort of do a little bit of a, a sort of ombre effect with this. So we can just bring that down there. Get a bit more ink. Let's pop that on. Make sure you really work it into your dauber before, before your dauber goes anywhere near your cardstock. Because if you don't, that's when you get your lumps, you know, those um, clouds and swirls. Mm. As long as the ink's worked into your dauber, you're going to get the perfect result. Just work that in just down there. So you can see I'm just bringing that down. I'm not going all the way to the middle because anyway, I'm going to cover that. And then I'm going to go in with my fuchsia. And my fuchsia is just going to go round the outside, just round the edge. I just think this fuchsia is my favourite colour of all the ink pad colours that we have. Is it? This one and the lemon tonic. Yes, yes. They use quite a lot. I was using the um, a different yellow one at home yesterday. Um, what do we call it? Is it? Honeypot? Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Well remembered. Honeypot. I like that one too. There we go. Right, so we can just come round the edges. So that's just darkened off the edges. If you want to, you can just bring in a little bit of the paler to the middle but can you see once you sort of go across with your ink it really makes that pop mm. doesn't it it's absolutely beautiful so my ink pads aren't going to go far away because we're going to be using those again let's get rid of that so this is going to be the back of my card so the next thing we need is we need a sentiment so i've just got an oval of cards so that's going to go in there so you can see why i didn't need to worry about the middle and this is just our um multi-purpose card now, what we've got is I've got, um, we've got some of Sharon's sentiments on the show uh, as well. Yes, we do indeed. We certainly do. And we're going to do that. Oh, I'm going to use the, let's, which ink pad do I want to use? These that ones, one. uh, the Heartfelt Greetings, is that one? Great deal uh, on these. Mm. So, it doesn't matter which, I'm not going to do, really do much, many techniques on these, but I'll use my alcohol proof because it's there. So we can take this. So this will just fit my oval. It's going to be quite snug, but I've cut an oval that's just about the right size. Move the mag magnets around. There we go. 
Well, there we are. Right. So this, look, you can see it's just going to fit on there. So these are, these are, we have a bundle of these. These are the From the Heart. This yes. beautiful uh, laughter, happiness. Ah, yeah. Get the Brilliant. Heart. Right on these. Yeah. These are £10.39 if you're a Platinum member wow. today. That's uh, and they should be £7.99 each. So you're not paying for two, we're sending you the rest of them for free, which is excellent. So I'm going to pick that up, pop it over, and then I'm just going to put some, tap the ink on the back. There we go. Just all the way across there. Now, I know a lot of people like their rocker blocks, but I am um, I'm partial to a stamping platform. You'll always see me going in with a stamping platform. It's just my, my choice. It's just Even for like smaller stamps, would you tend yeah. to use a platform? Yeah, because look, I mean, I suppose with a rock block that wouldn't happen. But especially if you think, oh, your, uh, your ink pad might not be as, you know, you're getting towards the end of your ink pad, it might not be as juicy. It just gives me that sort of um, reassurance that I can go in again and do. I've always used, you know, some form of stamping platform so let's just see that I missed it there there we go let's see hopefully that's a bit better much better there Amazing. you go there we are love that lovely isn't it, isn't it I mean those those are real focal points aren't mm. they because they're so big they're lovely bet for batch making it'll be amazing if you really oh. need to fill a project yes exactly perfect where are we there we go I think someone's had some glue on the uh, stamping platform. I That's who fine. That might have been. Ooh, Debbie can't... Fisher, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> she right. was here yesterday. Now I'm going to bring in two more um, ink pads. So I've got my. Now, one is a pigment one and one's a water reactive, only because I was getting this ready at home and I use grasshopper and pine tree and I couldn't find a grasshopper in the water reactive. So it makes no difference. I'm just going to use it in the opaque here. So there we go. And I'm going to do very similar, just like we did with the, um, stem, uh, with the embossing folder. And I'm just going to take that round the edge. It's good just to see the opaques done like this. Because I think we think that, you know, they don't blend. But they do, don't they? I mean, I know we have the water reactive, so people tend to use those. But great that these will do both. Oh, yeah. Well, they are, they are it says on the, you know, it says for um, blending and embossing. Mm. They just stay... Because they're, they're good for embossing, they just stay wet for that little bit longer. That's, you know, how they work. But, you, you know, you, I think that actually gives you a really good blend mm. because, you know, you've got that, they're wet for a little bit longer. But look at that, you can just really um, get into there with that one. And then I can come in with a little bit of my pine tree just around the outside, just like we did with the embossing folder and just add in a little bit of depth because what what this will do is it will give the effect that you've got a matte layer behind it because you've got that sort of slightly darker colour on the outside so it just gets rid of the need for doing lots of mats and layers there we go there we are right okay so that's got, got me my front of my card let's just do let's get a card there we go right and I've got some foam pads so we can put these on um, tape pen. There we go. So we can put this on. Oh, a bit damp there. Let's just get rid of the damp bit. Right, so this is just some um, olive green card I had at home. I am partial to a, a nice olive green card stock. I do like that. Right, card, piece of... Um, card just folded in half to make a card base and trim down put that one on first and then i'm going to come in with my embossable um, piece that's been embossed and the tape runner will still work equally as well even though it's over embossed card but look at that isn't that absolutely beautiful now what i've got here is i got sent some foam sheets and i thought well, there's a really good way to elevate my um my sentiment really going to give it quite you know I, I don't like it when you um when your uh, layers sort of sag and no dip. no it's a saggy topper do they we certainly don't want a saggy topper so there we go this will make sure we don't get that and pop that on there 
one and it's really nice and firm it's a really nice height i would say it's about two two or three mil Perfect. something like that and then i have definitely got that and then i actually i'm going to take this down off center can you see just like oh, that nice. just that's perfect right now i'm going to put that to one side and we're going to have a go at making some flowers because that's what we're here for today we're all about the flowers today so i am going to use let's move make some space i'm going to use the bell countryside and i have got the bell countryside the precious peonies and also the rustic hues and i'm going to use um doesn't show on there but there is a pink i think there was a pink very busy Four on this collection, yet. Corinne. I know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Water gone now on this. I think this will be our first sellout from this show. Yeah, but look at this. I can show you. The, the pink's just not visible at the front. Look at this. You get so much. Look at this pink. Isn't that gorgeous? Then the pale pink and then the two shades of green as well. So you're going to get four colours and three sheets of each. And I love really? these. They are a bit bigger than your A4. So they are. you're going to get so many flowers out of them. So I've got my dies and look at these. Aren't they amazing? So you've got all your um, flower elements. You've got some smaller flowers. You've got your leaves and then you've got your stamens in the middle. Right, let me just, whilst we're getting this ready, I just want to plug in my iron because we might, I'm not sure yet whether we're going to, which one, how we're going to shape these, but we'll have a go. Right, so I'm going to pull off a couple let me just remind myself which how many yes i did use three sizes so i'm going to use the three so i'm not using the smallest one i want the leaves and i want the stains okay i'm going to go up to a bigger platform because then i can do lots of things at once it's just been cut into yes so what you can do now foam will cut through you can get through so many layers let's see i better do that just in two so we can take that one and then i've got my stamens Oh, no, I'm going to have to go. I've not cut a long enough piece. Put that on there and on there. Now, I'll show you with the foam. So with the foam, I'm going to fold that one in half and I'm going to put... Let's go with the middle size on there. I can, cut, I can go back in and cut multiple layers. Now, one of the reasons for cutting down the foam is not only to get more onto your sheet, but every time you put it through your die cutting machine, you're squashing it. Okay. You're, you, you know you're flattening those fibers and I like I don't like to do that because I just find that it's taking some of those the, the properties out of the foam mm. so I will cut it down so that I'm only really cutting what I need okay um, at one point I'd rather put lots of pieces through but then they're only going through once or twice because the pressure in these machines is so strong it's just going to keep flattening it and flattening Good to know. it so there we go right we've got one there we are, straight through, no problem there we are, at all. And then, we've got, right, now, the only thing is when you do two, they start, when you do multiple layers, they can start to get a little bit stuck together, but they don't take much to separate. So we can then take there. Then I've got the paler pink as well just here now you can just come in with these and you don't have to do any shaping at all if you don't want to but i'm all i'm all about the shaping so let's just get any same. questions you've got as well about all things flower forming definitely the day to get those answered uh, and you can pop those into the comments oh that'd be lovely TV on facebook craft companion over on youtube yep because you know uh, making flowers is definitely where i'm at i just love doing that so pop that one and then come on out of there there we go do you talk to your crafting when you're at home Corey? yeah 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 you've got to you've got yes. to because i'm up there for hours on my own so if i don't talk to the to the flowers or whatever i'm making i wouldn't be talking to anybody <laughs> would i right so once i've got there i'm then going to get a little bit of ink just on the dauber and i'm just going to come round the edges now please don't spend too long and get i'll probably repeat this so many times today but i never worry about where i'm inking because we're going to be shaping them we're going to be um, adding some dimension so we're going to blend this ink so just apply it and let the shaping do the the blending and you know make it look a bit more natural now i know and you're using an ink pad here coin can we use other stuff to color these as well you can use pastels you can use your alcohol pens um i wouldn't be using your i personally wouldn't be using like your aqua pens no. because it'll just 
probably stay wet on there um, for too long. But you know, your alcohol pens, your ink pads, your pastels. Perfect. If you've got dark, um, dark flowers, gilding waxes oh, look wow. amazing. That's if you've a got really a good idea. If you've got like um, a, a black foam or um, a dark green foam, mm. your gold gilding waxes look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, now amazing. you'll see I'm doing both sides of the flower because I want to do dimension to my flowers. So if I only put the ink on one side, what's going to happen is we're going to shape it and then it's going to, um, it's not going to look very good on the up, you know, if you can see the underside. So it takes seconds to do and we're just going to put on that ink. And again, you can see on here, I've not added a lot of ink, but it just is enough to lift them. Now, if you um, get the Sharon Callis flowers, she's got the um, paper pads that have got the ombre effect yes. in. Yes. So you're almost getting that effect. Um, but because we're doing this with foam... And you can get those um, ombre pads on their own as well. They're available individually. So if you want to stock up on those to use with other things, uh, you absolutely can do that too. OK, so let's have a go. We can do some shaping. So the first one I want to do is I've got the stamens. Now, they do get static. They do get, they will get static. So I've got so many tools down here. I can't even see where they all are. That's what I said. Yeah. Right. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to get my heat gun on. And I'm just going to, now as soon as you put your heat gun on your foam, it'll try and blow away. So just soften it up. And I, ju I did warm the heat gun up before the show, but it will have cooled down. So I'm just, no, that's not very warm yet. Just give it a minute. Now, if I was at home, my heat gun would just be on, on the side of my desk. Oh, really? The whole time? Yeah. Yeah, I just have it, when I start, look at that, can you see, look at, oh yeah, you see how they just all pop up, mm. absolutely perfect, so all I want to do now is I'm just going to fold that in half, so that's just softened them, and don't worry that some have shaped more than others. I love with the foam flowers that everyone has a slightly different way of doing it, Yes. but there's no right or wrong way really, is no. there, there's a way that works for you and a way that doesn't yeah. work for you, I guess. Now. I love this um, because can you see the same as a bigger at one end and smaller at the other? What I would say is when you heat foam, it shrinks. Right. So the more heat you put on, the more it will shrink. So if you just put your heat gun on and hold it, it will shrink down, but it won't be very pliable then. Okay. So it's all about getting the heat nice and hot and quick and Perfect. stop it out. Now you could go two ways with this. I could start with the largest on the inside to the smallest on the outside, or I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to... I'm going to do its largest on the inside, I think. I'm changing my mind as I go. Now, for me, the only glue for flower forming, just a minute, there we go, is my hot glue. You can use other glues, but if you want the instant impact, you definitely need um, hot glue. So I'm going to pop this on here. Come on. Right, there we go. Sorry, just talking to the glue gun to make it make it behave. So then I've got it on my tweezers and I'm just twirling it. And you'll see, I'm not doing glue very often. I'm just putting a little bit every now and again. And did you see how small that glue was? Tiny I don't know if you bit, saw. Yeah. It's the smallest bit. Because the last thing I want is lots of lumps and bumps of glue. I don't want, you know, I don't want the whole, you know, all this... These really, stamens. Really clever on this uh, flower as well, that the stamens are like this. I just had some, I had some peonies at home last week. Oh, did they survive? Uh, and they all bloomed, yeah, and they were beautiful. But there's uh, loads of stamens in them, isn't yeah. there? It's, like, it's yeah. a really substantial amount of stamens. So obviously you, the regular style stamens would really work for no. a realistic peony. It's really no. great that the team have designed this style of stamen specifically exactly. for Exactly. What you could do is do another one and another one. Mm. And I've done that before now, where I've done multiple stamens. And then you just want to slide it off your... your um, tweezers and you've got that so that's going to be my statements just put those there so now I'm going to shape my flowers so there's lots of different ways so if I bring in my as I said to you I did warn Jake I said Jake I need an extension because I've got lots and lots of um, bits and pieces so what you can do is you can pop these so this is nice and warm now you can pop this onto here hold that there and then that's can you see that's started to shape it and then what I would do now it's warm I would fold it up, fold it up like that, just shape it and shape it to the edge. And then sometimes I even go onto the um, iron again and shape. So we pop it on here because it's just going to warm up that foam. Gosh, that my iron must be nice and hot because it's just dropping straight off. Foam, 
and shape. Now, when I'm doing this, you remember I was saying I didn't really spend a lot of time blending because that shaping is doing the blending for me. There we are. And I've softened up the petals so much that it really is so easy. Now, if you wanted to, I'm going to just shape these and then I'll open one out. We also have the finger tool and I did say to you I'd never used it. Yes. And I got one when I was knowing I was doing this show and it's really, really clever. So I shall use that again as well. So I'm going to do on there. You see how it just goes, the foam just goes so soft and it starts to curl. And really, I think, I mean, I work with lots of, as you have, lots of different, you know, systems when it comes to making flowers. Yeah. I love our foam, how it's heat set. It does seem to be really robust, doesn't it? Like, yes. you know, there's a lot of samples around that were made, you know, years ago, but they yeah. still seem to hold their shape and look quite full, which I think is, is a bit of a rarity, really. Yeah, and the thing is, is it's reshapeable. So if you do make something and then it gets a bit flattened, just reshape it. Mm. They, you know, you can really um, sort of reinvigorate it. And the other thing is, it's lovely and light, so it's, and it's waterproof, so it'll float. Nice. I love doing little flowers to go in a bowl of water, like Perfect. as a table decoration. That looks really, really pretty. Let me move that iron out of the way before I do some damage with that. And then get the last one onto here. And then I can shape that. That's going there. Now, as I was saying, you've got your finger tool. So what you've got here is when I open this out, you remember how flat that petal was? We've now got a lot of shape. Nice. So what I would be then doing is, um, I've got, right, so we've got all the different ball tool sizes here. If you want to get those ball tools, you can get the distress tool for free as well in that combo. Sorry, just have a give me coffee. Um, details there on the bottom of your screen, which is brilliant. There we go. Right, so all I'm doing is just shaping that. Now, if the ends get a little bit flattened, so this ball tool, so basically you've got ridges going that way, and then I've got ridges going that way. So all I'm going to do is just come down there. So what happens is, is if I press on there, can you see how it then just adds in? Think of your peonies. You know your peonies have just bloomed. Did the edges of the petals, were they really, really sort of crimped? And very, very crimped, yeah. yeah. And that's all we're doing. We're just sort of wavy, aren't they, yeah. the edges? Exactly. So we can open I tell you what, as well, um, it would have been almost, uh, for platinum members, I think there wasn't much, uh, wasn't much difference in the price of buying this dye and, f and foam combo as there was six stems of peonies. I think they were about... They're about 13, 12, 13 pounds for yeah. six stems. Very, very expensive. Yeah. But they are beautiful, aren't they? Really, really gorgeous, yeah. Now, this is where it's so good having the multiple ball tools because as I go down for each flower, I get a different size ball tool. So all I'm doing now is I'm using my, the heat from my thumbs to stretch the petal over the bottle but did you see i'm not going anywhere near that end okay, the yep. end where i've put in that dimension i'm making sure that i don't stretch it over there let's go with these nice pink ones and then we can come on here there we go we can put some shape in there just like that and now this the having your glue gun as well is where the shaping comes in and I will do a lot of the shaping after I have formed. So it's often about just getting the initial shape ready and then you can, you know, add in all the texture and shape and dimension afterwards. So the last petal, just wanted to show you how easy it is and how, how much dimension you can get. There we go, right to all the way around, last one to there. Now, if you want to add in any more, then just get your finger tool on the end as well. So you get, am I right, you get the white foam pad. I've got two foam pads here, so I do sort of lose track of which ones you've got. So I think it's the white one you get with your indeed. ball tools. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my petals. Now, you have to sort of start to work quite quickly. So I'm going to get my pink and I'm going to put, again, look how small that foam, that glue is, the tiniest amount. I can put one on. Then I'm going to go in with the white that, or the pale pink and then we can pop that on there. And each time I'm just 
rotating ever so slightly. Now the foam will react to the heat of the glue gun. Okay. So you just need to be a little bit forceful. Oops, sometimes, like you see that, the glue came out fast. There we go. And then the final little bit, put that on there. Oh, that might not be enough. Come on, out the way. Little bit of glue and the final petal. Then I'm going to take it over to my mat. I'm going to get the smallest of the ball tools and I'm just going to press. So what that's doing now is that's shaping it, if I bring that in, that's adding the shape and the dimension, but it's also flattening all that glue. Perfect. So I haven't got a chunk of glue at the bottom. And that's really important if you're going to put those stamens through. You know, this, not these stamens that we've just made, you mm. know, there's stamens. The, the sort of beady ones. Yes because then you've not got a lot of glue to go through. But look at how much dimension we've created on there. Isn't Perfect. that pretty? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stamens. Again, I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to put a little blob of glue on the end. A couple of my stamens came through to the other side, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to open up the flower and I'm just going to pop that into the center. If you say just press, but look at that. How pretty is that? So gorgeous. I mean, that's so much dimension, isn't there? I, don't, I struggle with doing flat flowers. They just don't sit naturally mm. with me at all. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my leaves or my foliage bits. Lovely to have the foliage included as well. It yes. really does sort of finish the whole thing, doesn't it? Oops, I maybe went a bit hard on that one. Yep. You need, you need the foliage because if you don't have the foliage, it doesn't complete it. So what I'm going to do, I've got a few more bits of flowers there, and I've got another one. You see, I've made one here. So all I'm going to do is let's have a position of those. Where do we want those? So we're going to put that one there. We're going to put a small one in the middle. I'm just, is it going to have to, I put my thing on that side. I should have done it. Can I lift? Ah, right, I'm going to change that round. Put that down, that side. Then we're going to come in with our first one. Now, I don't tend to put my leaves on until my flowers are where I want them to be because you'll be surprised that if you put them on first, they'll probably be in the wrong position because you think you've got them where you need them and then they're not. So I always tend to, personally, unless, oh, a bit more glue, unless I'm really certain where I will do my um, flowers first. Come on, it's reacted to that glue. There we go. Pop that one on there. Let's bring that one through. Then I'm going to get my leaves, a little bit of glue on the end, and then we can poke that in. So it doesn't have to go very far in, just behind, but it will anchor down your flowers, it'll give perspective, and it will just finish it off. You always need a little bit of foliage, even if you didn't realise, just a couple of little leaves, just finish it off. There we go. Put one on just there. I've got one here, I'm going to pop it just there. And then you can add your pearls, your gems. I don't think you need ribbons on this because you've got so much on here. Sound like you, no ribbon, Corinne. I know, but when you've got flowers, yeah. I don't think you need it. If you get any glue strings, don't worry. They just come off and you can always put a little bit of heat gun on there. But how about that with Absolutely our flowers? Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. Really I really, beautiful. it's what I love doing. It's just make my happy place. Mm, yeah, and you can really tell that. I mean, that is really glorious. And I think it's one of those, um, one of those things I think you are making something pretty and that's wonderful, but the actual process of putting it together is beautiful as well. If you want to go for this, it's very busy uh, on this at the moment. Uh, if you are a Platinum member, remember you're going to get that extra, well, everyone's getting an extra 5% discount in the club today. So the Platinum price, that's actually the gold price, isn't it? Gold member price. Uh, so uh, Platinums will get this for $14.99, which is excellent. $17.94. Snap that up. Brilliant, brilliant deal there uh, on that particular collection. Over a quarter of that has already sold out and gone. Uh, we are going, oh, we are going to play. It is time to play. What's the, what are we calling the game, Charlotte? Shh. Guess... Guess the products to make a name up. That's what we're calling it. Brilliant. Uh, it's Charlotte's game. I feel like you need to 
You need to give them proper names, Charlotte. She doesn't know. Uh, guess the product, that's what we're going to call it. Cool. Guess the product. Uh, how fun. this is going to work. If you've not seen Playcraft Swipe before, is we'll have uh, two rounds of five. Uh, if we have a draw, we'll have a tiebreaker at the end. And um, the winner, um, Corinne's playing for Team YouTube. I'll be playing for Facebook. The winner's team will, uh, five people in that team will receive a £10 or $10 voucher which is amazing i've had a pretty good run i must say the last um the last few weeks i think last couple of weeks so let's that's hope quite that's some bragging continues. rights that sorry i've done well over the last that's quite some bragging rights yeah i mean it might all go downhill you just never know do you it doesn't you know it's not my skill that's coming into question it's charlotte's uh, quiz mastery i think is the is what uh, is going to be there oh apparently george did some as okay. well so uh, we'll see i think i'll have to write facebook in the top of mine just so i know who i'm playing for there we are right are you ready corinne for i the think first, i am uh, first question in round yep. one let's go I'm feeling quite confident here, Corinne. I don't know about you. I am, yes, on that one. Brilliant. Okay, let's turn around then. Uh, totally Tiffany, hot glue gun holder. Hot glue gun holder. We've both got that one right. There we go. Yeah. A, a great start. One, one uh, to kick things off. I'm sure all of you at home uh, managed to get that one as well. So let's have then question number two. see it again i think i'm sorry i'm sure it is can, can i see oh it's there i can see it's oh. just got a little bit at the side let's let people see it again there it is oh shall we have a look then yeah i can see uh corinne's whiteboard by the way just so you're not at home uh, uh just so you know in the gallery because uh, camera one's in preview uh, written, so. i'll let you go first on this one okay Tacky, Tacky glue, glue, says Corinne. I actually think it's all purpose because I don't think the tacky glue has a spatula end, spready oh, end. That's what I was confused about. Yeah, so let's have a look. Oh, you've yes. got it. Yes. All purpose. Yeah, I got the wrong glue. So very close. A lot of people said tacky as well. Yeah, just the little, sp the little spreader on the end that gave it away. Uh, right then, let's have question number three. Oh, I think, yeah, yeah, um, I think I've got it. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I think so. Yeah, I've put guillotine. Paper trimmer. Paper trimmer. Now, yeah. is it a paper trimmer or is it a guillotine? We can both have it. Excellent. Thank you. There we are. Uh, I did I did wonder what the, the triangle the bit was. was. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was that, a, I thought was it was a, a piece of, yeah. I had a feeling it was going to be a, uh, a piece of car sock. Right, what's the score then, Charlotte? Three, three, two. two. I got, wrong, got the wrong glue, didn't I? Oh, right then. Question number four is this one. Oh. What's it called, though? We could go genet generic. Right. You ready? Uh, yeah, three, two, one. Craft tote, I've put. I've craft bag. Craft tote, craft bag. There we are. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Amazing. And what is the proper name for it? That's not a desktop one, is it? Because a desktop. Desktop one's got a handle. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, the carryall tote, yeah. So craft, craft bag, tote, craft yeah. tote. Yeah. Uh, last question. Is this the last question this round? Yeah. Brilliant. Round. Let's have the last one then. Oh. I mean, I'm never going to get that one. You see, we know our craft products. They, they've, they've seemed really easy, but we know our craft products. That's what it is. Yeah, maybe. Mm. You ready? Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Oh, what a shock. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so are we going to then, are we going to, is it going to get more difficult in the second half, do we think? 
it does get more div oh. lulled into a... Oh, only a tiny bit. So maybe not completely lulled into a full sense of security. 5-4 uh, then to me at the end of that. All to play for still uh, in the next round. We'll do the next round uh, in a wee while before the end of the show. Now, it is the season to Gemini over on the website. We've got brilliant weekly deals on a whole host of different machines. This week it is the turn of this, our Gemini MIDI machine. And you get three dies worth £70 included. I'm going to show you what those dies are. Dies and embossing folders, but you are getting a pop out. Oh, hello. You're getting some um, edge balls in there, some brilliant dimensional. Uh, that's a cut and embossed folder, embossing folders, and even uh, some of our big word dies as well. So you get all of that brilliant stuff that will work wonderfully with your Gemini MIDI included free as well. Uh, and let me just quickly show you what you're getting. And the MIDI is great. The MIDI is the one that I use, to be honest, uh, when we, if we do any crafting here in the studio. Really fantastic. Everyone can use it. The other one thing I love about it, great as well, maybe for beginner crafters, because it's just this folder-based system. So there's no sandwich combinations to learn or to worry about. You just have the folder pop your die and your paper in here. And then through that goes very, very simple. Uh, so make sure you are grabbing a hold of that. I must remind you, because it is so busy on the weekend saver bag. Now, it's box number 39. I know a couple of you were asking in the comments what the box number was. It is box number 39, uh, which is this one here. Now, these are excellent value when we bring them to you. 24.99, whether you're shopping in pounds or dollars. That's brilliant because you've got in here uh, three embossing folders, a cut and emboss folder, die cut sentiments, flowers, clear stamps, uh, card blanks, envelopes, ribbons. You've got colour card, printed papers. You've even got gems in there, enough to make 24 cards. But for this weekend, if you come back at the end of Sunday, this will be £24.99 or dollars. But what you won't get is this, the free mystery bag. Now, the free mystery bag has £55 or $75 worth of goodies in here. And it's all about embossing folders and cut and emboss folders. Let me run you through what you're getting in here. So wonderful floral ones, um, really great border ones in there. You've got some lovely 3D ones, some slimmer ones for the mini and the midi. Uh, also some from our collection. So some here for the masquerade. We've also got some positive thoughts in there too. It's a really great selection. You're getting nine embossing embossing folders for free there may be our uh, contents may vary if you buy more than one of these you will get some duplicates as well so do bear that in mind platinum price isn't 1899 though is it 1990 it's 1874 your platinum price pounds or dollars the box on its own is worth 24.99 which is amazing right we're going to move on and have another look now at the garden florals i'll just quickly show you the flowers that you're getting in here and then i'll take you through absolutely everything that you get after Corinne's demo. So let me just share these with you. And the flowers are great. They're very sort of delicate and refined, all the flowers in here, which I think is lovely. Uh, so you've got the mountain rose. This one is your orchid. You've got the champagne rose. And then we've got the lily, the ranunculus, and also the tea rose in there as well. Uh, and then you've got all the other bits. You've got papers, embossing folders, frame dies in there too. Absolutely everything that you need. 180 sheets of paper in there in total. 99.99 or 123.65. Remember, you're all getting an extra 5% off. So that's your gold price, gold member price. 74.99 or 92.74 if you are a platinum member today. Because remember, until the end of tomorrow on absolutely everything, all Club Inspire members will get an extra 5% off on top of their usual discount, which is excellent. Any questions you've got about anything, please get them in to me. Lots of love coming in for that last demonstration. Sam says, I love watching Corin. She's a fab demonstrator. Christine really loves the way that you put them together. Meve saying how gorgeous they are, as is Rhiannon and, uh, and Rosalind saying, Corin's going to have me making flowers this weekend. Well, that's what we want. We want to inspire people, Corin, don't we? Exactly, exactly. So we're going to make some different flowers this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, some bits from Sharon's garden florals. So we're going to look at the rose bliss frame. So we're going to use that first. Then we're going to use the tea rose, the champagne rose, and the mountain peony. And we're going to use them on her special papers that you that come in the bundle. So if I can just show you, you get these. Now can you see, you've got the ombre colour, which is really clever. So it means that you almost don't have to do your inking. Even the greens for the foliage come with the ombre. So that's really, really special. And then we've also got some, in a different bit, we've got some Gemini, um, the autumn leaves. So I'm going to mix and match them with those. So don't think that if you're doing Sharon Callis, you've got to use Sharon Callis 
um, foliage, mix and match it around what you've got so you know everything works together. So I'm going to start with the um, frame. Let me just give that a tap because there's a few little bits in there. And uh, we're going to cut this out. So I'm going to pop that on there and we're going to cut it twice. Once out of white and once out of blue. So let me put that on like that. Now it is a cut and emboss um, die on here. So we can pop that on there like that. Um, let's go that way around with my plate. So we can pop that one through here. Now I did have my embossing mat ready. Let's grab that. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift this up and while that's cut through. Now if you look at that, that's nice, that's still quite flat at the moment. So I'm going to pop, I can take that one off. I can put my rubber mat on and then what I'm going to just do is turn that round and see if I can do it in one swift movement. Just lift off the magnetic shim and then put them back. I always take off the magnetic shim when I'm putting the um, embossing mat in. Otherwise, it just gets a little bit too much and I found it can put too much pressure on your um, embossing mat. So get that one through. And what we're going to do now is we can look at that. And what that's done is it's pushed that further up into nice. the die. So if you look on the back now, I can see the it dimension. It it, doesn't it? Yeah. So what we then want to do is I've just got my pink tulip and um, got a bit of pop glue on there with the dauber. And then we can just come through on there. And on that side. Really clever that you can use these almost like a stencil with these. Types. Yes, exactly. And if you wanted to, I could also get in, I've got my, I've still got the fuchsia out. So I could almost get the fuchsia and I could just come down on these, these ones there, look, where it's a little bit darker. And it doesn't matter that it goes on to some of the others, you can just blend it in. Which one's that one? That one there. There we go. So when we, yep, that's the right way around. So when we get that, and then I can press that through there. And now look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And all these bits, because it's being cut and embossed, all of these bits will just pop out of there, just like, there you go. Look, can you see they just Perfect. fall out? absolutely perfect but doesn't that look lovely with really the flowers cute. and it really, really nice. picks up that embossed detail it's like the abstract isn't it yeah absolutely gorgeous so what i've also done is i've cut it again oops out of this blue card now this is i think the positive thoughts oh no it's no it's um no i'm not not sure what it is I'm not sure which one it is. I've lost it. It's just one of our nice blue um, cardstock. But you don't need to emboss that side, that layer. Let me get one where it's all poked out. There we go. That's a bit better. So all we're going to do now is we're going to pop that on there. Let me get my tape pen. Pop that, some tape in the middle, just on there. And then we can just create a nice drop shadow. So if it's going to sit like that, let's just do the drop shadow through to that side. So we don't need a lot, just a little bit showing. There we go, can you see? Just to show you've got a nice little bit of drop shadow. And that's going to go on to our card base. So again, just a piece of multi-purpose card folded in half. Some more of that lovely blue. There we go. That's going to go, double's rolling off. Going to go on first. And then that's the positive thoughts, isn't it? Get it the right way around. There we go. But this blue goes so well with it, doesn't it? Just picks up all those colours. Gorgeous. There we are. That's good to go on there. Then I'm going to get this piece and I fetched over. There it is. Foam on a roll. And I'm going to pop that just a couple of bits on to the back. Uh, lots of love coming in for this. Um, what ink is Corin using with the embossing? Was it water reactive? Yeah, that was the water reactive. Brilliant. Yes. Uh, Aunt Penny says, "Is the hot glue required for making flowers?" 
for me, if I'm using foam, absolutely. Okay. So if you, I've not tried it with our tacky glue because I've not been here that long. I've not tried. But if you just use a PVA, it won't. It's because it doesn't soak into the foam. It won't. Um, it just stays wet and they fall apart. Now, I know some people sort of use some sort of all-purpose type glues. Um, it depends. If you want to shape them, like I just did on that last demo, then you need the hot glue because you need to be able to hold it in place while that glue sets. So I, I would always say if you're using foam flowers, get um, a hot glue gun. It's just worth it. It's just so, so worth it. Now, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Even if you did nothing else but put a sentiment, you could put that like that, you could put a sentiment on the middle there, and that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? It would just look so, so pretty. Right, so that's the first bit. So that's my card, it's going to go that way, and we can put that to one side. And what I want to show you is I've already cut it. So we've also got um, the heartfelt greetings, and this is the thank you. And if you look at the die, what it does is it cuts out an aperture and some roses you can see it on here and you've got some stamps to go on there but what i've actually done is i've just cut out the thank you twice oh perfect and just literally where it where it joins up just trimmed it out that's all you need to do just trim it out it's really really easy to do so you that's that's done with that one and that's going to go let me grab a bit of card you need a scrappy bit of card on there. Those heartfelt greetings you get, I'll take you through them in a minute, you get four sets, they're normally £14.99 each, you get four sets of £14.99 today. I know, so brilliant, amazing brilliant. isn't it? Or eleven twenty four if you're a platinum member. Do you know what, I value. think sentiments is something that you can never have too many of, because you need, your sentiments is what finishes off your projects, mm. it really does. So again we're just going to create that drop shadow, use your wet glue or I've just used my dotty tape plan if you wanted to. Um, Last time I was in, I was in with Jan, and she was saying the way to make your dotted tape pen really work is really light touch. The lighter the touch, the better it's going to be. Okay, look. So, yeah, just gently over the top, and then you can see, look, I've just created the drop shadow with that as well. We'll put that on in a minute. We don't need to put that on yet till I've got my flowers sorted. So now it's about the flowers. So we have got... We've got these three. So we've got the mountain peony, the tea rose, and the champagne rose. And we're going to cut them all out. Let's see how many we can cut out in one go. I think I can probably do two. So I've got my cardstock. We can put one on there and one on there. And then we can next get... It could come out slightly different. To the, I've got some already prepped. And these are going to go on here. Now, if you put these carefully... I'm just wondering, can you get two on a sheet of card or do you just need to put them down the centre? I think you might just put them down the centre. Oh, let's see if I can get that one off. I stuck down well. Yeah, just put them down the centre so that you get the ombre effect. Put that there. Where's the rest of my plates? Here we go. Uh, Roslyn is uh, hesitant to buy the mini because I have another manual machine about the same size, but it somehow found its way into my cart. There you go. <laughs> so it is. Uh, Leslie says, good morning, everyone. Good Saturday morning. Hi, Leslie. Uh, Linda says, uh, nice, Colin, as well. Linda's also trying to sing Foam on a Roll, but not, it's not going to go today. See, I missed that. Foam on, a, foam on a Roll, you did uh, say it. I've decided that Foam on a Roll is cancelled now, the song. Have you? Me and Craig, we are boycotting Foam on a Roll, we've decided. Okay. We haven't told Ben yet, but All right. uh, I'm sure you'll find out. Um, <laughs> what would you be doing on a Saturday morning, Corinne, if you were not at work today? What would I be doing? I would have been... What a Saturday morning look like in the Robinson household? I would have taken the dog for a walk, um, called in at the Eggman on the way back to get the some egg eggs. The Eggman, love The Eggman. He just comes down into the village on a on a Saturday, and then I don't know. Yeah. Then just potted around. Maybe if it's nice, supervised hubby in the garden. Right. Okay. I've pointed out all the bits that need Point doing. Point out the bits that need doing. Brilliant. Yeah. I bet he good loves at that. that. I'm really good at that. Right. I bet he really enjoys that. Yeah, but if I if I was to get a bucket and start going and weeding, he starts to shake. Oh, would it really? Yeah. yeah. It's his domain is it the garden? Well, he just worries about what I would pull up. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to the foam flowers, is that what yeah. he says? Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, he, get, he gets really nervous. Gets really nervous. So, mm. yeah. There we go. Right, so I've cut these three out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ball tool and my foam mat again. And again, you don't need to, but I think it just makes all the difference. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn these over and we're just going to add some dimension. So let's just come behind here and... Oops, I've pulled one off. I've pulled another one off. Careful, Corinne. I can stick those back on. I'm being a bit harsh here. I need to be a bit carefuler. More careful. Um, I'm going to try hi, Meredith. Uh, so Apparently, Meredith says, Sarah and Ben did foam on a roll on the warehouse clearance and then did an encore when, cre when requested. Wow. You do, as I always say, you do you. She was in a strange mood, apparently, according to Johnny. <sighs> yeah, that warehouse sale, it was a busy night. It really, it really was incredible. We will be bringing you, uh, Corin and I, uh, some of the um, some of the best bits uh, or for this, we've got a well, second chance Sunday tomorrow for an hour. Yeah. And then the second half of second chance Sunday is going to be a US warehouse clearance wrap up, which will be awesome. So really looking wow. forward to that. I wonder, will we finish on time? That's the question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, that involuntarily just slipped out there. <laughs> yes, we will. If we don't, if we don't. Joe, Joe's leaving. I'm on my own. <laughs> right, just because I've just, I've just, just popped a couple of that. I was a little bit heavy-handed. I'm just going to stick it back on. Jan says, "Thank you, Joe, for cancelling foam on a roll. What a relief! Cancel culture is is real." <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and then I brought and if that Lorna Jane Hunter is singing it in the comments as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we can just do the just shape just adding a little bit of shape so that so my mat's got a wobble on it must have a foot missing i think it's just making a little bit of a, a wobbly noise just makes all the difference if you can just add in that little bit of dimension now i'm thinking should i have really have turned it done shaped it the different ways probably there we go. Right, so what you've then got is you've then got a score line and I'm going to just fold it up on my score line. There we go. And then, now this, now can you see? So here you've got a gap between the petals and then there now you haven't. And actually what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn that round and shape those ones at the back just so that they're all going Very in the clever, same direction. They? Yeah, there's no way... If you did these as a single stem, you could get them so close. Perfect. But by changing them like this. So the next thing you need is you need your tweezers. And I always find squeezy tweezers are the best. Yes. And again, you could do this with your tacky glue. And some people probably, this is where, you, where your choice of glue is up to you. All I'm doing here, just breaking up the fibres. I'm just doing that so that when I try to come to roll, it'll roll. This bit, just, I just find that helps. And then we're going to start. So I'm going to start with the smallest petals in the middle. So what you have to then think about is which way you're going to... Now, that's not the right way. That's the right way. Just making sure I fold. Have I gone? No, it was the right way first time. There we go, yes. They're going to fold. That's better. Yes, they're going to go that way. That's right. So just a little bit of glue. Let me grab my glue gun. Paper is very forgiving, so you can um, you can mould it more than once. So just fold it up, fold it up, roll. Now you're going to shape it when it's finished. So again, just add in the smallest amount of glue. And like I say, if you want to use your, your tacky glue, you could do that here. Just keeping that going round. And again, I'm only putting glue every so often there we go and a little bit just here Oops, on the end wow that glue gun's hot it's actually steaming there we go so once you've done that you then just like i say most of your shaping is done oops afterwards i've just pulled that let's put that one back on and push that back in there there we go and once you do, most of your shaping is done afterwards. So then you just need to go round 
and pull, 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 pull the petals down. Perfect. And that will then create your flower. So you just make sure you've got them in the right place to create a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. So just keep shaping them round. There we go. Right, so one. Let's come on with the next one. That. It's quite a divisive topic, foam on a roll. Uh, half people are saying no, and half are very relieved. <laughs> Shadai says, good morning, Prince Show. If you cancel or boycott foam on a roll, I will strip you of your Prince title for one month. <gasps> can we do, can you strip me of the title? For, well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm happy to be dethroned then, it seems, because uh, <laughs> if you could strip me of the title from the 15th of June, because I'm off for three weeks then. So anyway, so I don't have a week. I don't have to live without my title for a week then when I come back. That would be great. I don't think it works like that. No, me neither. But, you know, you sometimes you've got to be bold to get what you want. There you are. <laughs> now, that's already started to, to shape. So all I'm going to actually, let's come around that side. I always, always struggle to remember to think which way I've got to fold, roll it. If I roll that way? Yes, that's right. There we go. Just. Now, paper is really you know it's pliable isn't it so you mm. can do quite a lot to it and the more you shape the easier it will roll so then we can take this and pop this and then just have a look at as you're rolling and making sure that your, your petals are sort of alternating that you're not leaving any gaps or you're not doing it you don't want to do them square you just want to make sure that they move around that's better now if you've got quilling tools those are also very good you could put those in the middle oh, so okay. like i say i'm used can you see that you can see that how that's forming just forming to the right shape and again but again if you're doing hot glue like i'm doing then you just need to not go too far with your glue otherwise the glue will um the glue will have dried before you've reached that point and again, this one, if you want a bigger flower, then just put, just carry on and put another set of petals on. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Not much needed doing to that. And it's there, shaped. There we go, to get rid of those glue strings. I'm just holding that while that glue sets. And then pull that one out. Now, this one I actually pulled a few petals off, so I've got another one. I'm going to cheat and use this one. Let's go one. Should I say, oh, by the way, I forgot you're going for three weeks then. It will start when you come back. Wow. Oh dear. So it's a tough price to pay, isn't it? But, you know, it is what it is, as they say. <laughs> it's a small um, price to pay to be off on holiday for three weeks, absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Still very busy on that Bell Countryside deal, by the way. Lots of you still shopping for that. And very busy on the weekend bag, too. Uh, remember, you're buying that craft box and getting all of those free embossing That's folders, which is great. So don't miss out on that. Do you know what I think? Embossing folders are something that people, we forget about embossing folders, don't we? And they are the quickest way to add dimension and shape to your project. They really are. They'll come in, you know, you can do it really quickly. Now, I worked out why those petals popped off. I was using too big a foam mat. I okay. used my white foam mat. So what was happening is it was going down too far and right. it was more than the paper could handle. So I had another one and I've just done it on the black foam mat, which is thinner and it it's worked absolutely perfectly. Brilliant. It's not been a problem at all. So I'm just breaking those. Let me just work out which, yep, which way. Breaking down those fibres. The more I break down the fibres, the easier it'll be to roll. There we go. And then we can do this one. And then you can just, let's go really tight to the centre. Really tight. And then we can pop in our glue a little bit of glue there now just want to make sure that we're not ending up with them all in the same place that's better there we go once you get them rolling in the right place it usually is pretty easy to do there look at that you can see that starting to form and then you'll just shape them once you've finished all the way around. Very clever how she 
how she's designed these and put them together. It is, isn't it? Just stretching that round so that I get them filling up the gaps because I don't want them to just to lie one on there, that's better, one on top of each other. And then once you've done that, it's just about shaping them and moving around. So this one is, let me get this right, this one is the T Rose. This one was the, oh, what's that one? Sorry, I've got them all here. This one was the Mountain Peony. And then this one was the Champagne Rose, just so that you can see. And then you can just shape them round, just like that. And then, let, oh, glue gun, drop that. I said the flex wasn't very long on that. So let's bring in my card. So I've got my flowers. Now, just the other bit I've done is I have used the autumn leaves. So this is a Gemini autumn leaves. I'll just show you what you get. You get, look at that, I love these. Nice. All these different leaves. They are so, so useful. And we've just cut them out of a couple of sheets of Sharon's card. One with the ombre on and one that's not as ombre -ed. And that's going to go on here. So let's just position that where I think it's going to go. Then I'm going to get my flowers and let's do it with some glue in this back. And pop one. Then we can pop the other. And again, just like we said before, I'm going to put my, my foliage on, but I personally like to sort of put my flowers on first because I know where everything's going to sit. And then let's just put a little bit of tacky glue on there. And then you can just come in and pop, and shape them a little bit if you want, just on there. Can you see how it, it's easier to put the flowers on first? Down here, is that glued down? There we go. Let's just go, oops, touch my finger. There we are, just keep, oh, I'll use that one I think. Really, really pretty. And that foliage, as you were saying, makes all the difference. It does, doesn't it? Really it really does. really grounds the whole thing, doesn't it? Yep. We'll put one in there. And I've got one just... And great to see you using the die just for the sentiment. I think sometimes we forget about, you know, yes. clipping bits out or removing bits, snipping bits away, but definitely something you can do. Yeah, there's no reason why you... Where's it gone? Where's my other tape pen? That is right in front of me. You, do, you know, you don't need to use that whole of the die. All dies are like that. You can just pick out the bits that you want to use. There we go. There we are. And then that is going to sit perfectly just there. Let's just pop that on just like that. And then you've got that gorgeous frame with those beautiful, beautiful flowers. Absolutely stunning. I love how the flowers it? sort of just curve round from the, they sort of merge into the flower on the frame. It looks so pretty. Uh, amazing. Right, let me take you back through then what you're getting in uh, the garden floral set. Let me get this the right way around. Uh, this one here is your um, mountain rose. What you will get, of course, remember, is a paper pad for each one of the flowers as well. So each one of the flowers comes with its corresponding paper pad, which is excellent. So, you know, you've got that in. You've got 180 sheets on the paper pads in total. You will also get the orchid. Then you've got the champagne rose, the lily. This one is your ranunculus. That's the tea rose. Then we move into the embossing folders too. So you've got this one here. This is your ornate tile, super versatile, that one. That one there is your divine blooms. And then you've got your frame dies as well. So you've got your pretty posies and you've also got the roses that you saw um, Corin using in that last demo. A uh, brilliant deal for you on that set. Everyone saves 41.85 or 55.55. That's the gold member price, of course, $79,999 or $98,92. Platinum members, because everyone's getting an extra 5% off, so platinum members today get this for $74,99 or $92,74, which is absolutely excellent value. Right, it is time. The time is now. It is time for round two of 
our incredible game, uh, which is, of course, without a name, working title, <laughs> Guess the Product, yep. uh, is what we are playing. Yep. So I went in 5-4, we will see a picture of a product, but it has been obscured, uh, so we cannot tell what it is. And then what we need to try and do is guess what that product is. A lot of comments coming in. Janine says, stunning about that last project. Susan Dawn uh, says, gorgeous as are loads of you. Uh, really, really enjoying that. Right then, okay. Corinne, are you ready for round two? I think I am. Amazing. These are getting harder, so we've been told. Let's see what we've got then as our first question. I can still see Corinne's as well. <laughs> I can still see it on camera seven now I've got with Corinne. Okay, right. Uh, right, are you ready? Yeah. Foil press Foil is what we've press. both gone for. Are we both right or are we both wrong? Yes. Of course we are both correct. There we are. Uh, six, five, all to play for. Have you seen the next one? Oh. Hang on. Am I, is this an eye test? Better with, <laughs> better without. Better with, better without. Oh, can we see it again? Why would I want to see it again? Because I can't, I haven't guessed yet, that's why. What's that? Oof. What could it be? I don't know. I've got something down, but we shall see. I can still see Corinne's board, by the way. <laughs> now it's on camera seven. I'm going to step on. back here. If I yeah. do it back here. Okay. I just don't know. I just don't know. You don't. Uh, circle die. I've written embellishment. I mean, I'm taking a huge punt, <laughs> aren't I? But we'll see. <gasps> oh, oh! No! Everyone at home got it. So George did that one, did he, Charlotte? So obvious. I'm looking around me, thinking, yeah. what could it be? We could, why didn't ta tape? Didn't, could have been low tack tape. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. Uh, right then. Let's so have, obvious, isn't it? Let's have the next one. So still five four. Corinne's got, like it's not fair because Corinne's got everything over there. So Corinne's just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, having a little <laughs> look. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's not exactly difficult, is it? No. X-shaped eyes. Zyra. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny thought you got it wrong for a second there. Johnny thought I'd put X-shaped eyes. <laughs> uh, so seven, six. How many questions left? Two more questions left. Right. Let's have the penultimate We're one. We're going through this faster than we went. Oh. This is quicker than the um, um, Eurovision one. Really? How long was that going on for? It went on for a long time. Did it? <laughs> right. I think we both got this one. Uh, tape runner. It was the spelling of. Uh... <laughs> Do you know what? Even the, yeah, one of them was the Czech Republic. So all the letters were there. Yeah. And the, the where does the Z it? go? That's the problem. Yeah, that was Ooh. what it was. Last one. So you, I need to get this wrong, and Corin needs to get this right. For a draw. Uh, this is. I know what this is. It's. It. Um. Um. Hmm. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is the tag punch. You punch see, tag. I put punch and then I put tag afterwards because I suddenly <laughs> thought it'd be a little bit more specific. Uh, there we are. Yes. Amazing. Oh, you I won. beat me. You beat me by one. Nine, eight. Only oh, that's the highest score for a very long time. Um, Facebook is the winner. Amazing. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. Well done. Thank you. I'm uh, kicking myself. Which one did I get wrong? Which one was it? It was the tacky glue. Was got tacky you. Tacky glue. 
I should have I mean, you'd have probably put, if you'd have put glue, I, I mean, Johnny would have probably let you have the points, really. I should have put a bottle of glue, shouldn't I? Shouldn't be so specific. Yeah, and you might have got it. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> uh, let's just take a moment, then we'll give you a little bit of a break. Give you a chance to check out your baskets. It is super busy over on the website. Whilst you do that, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time. So your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines. So you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Anyway, uh, right, let's share with you some other stuff that's on the show that's proving very, very busy. Uh, we have got some wonderful flower forming deals for you. Let's have a look at the first one here. It's brilliant savings on all of these as well. This is your spring foam flowers collection that you've got in here. Three sets of flower dyes, stamens, and two packs of your flower forming foam. A really brilliant bundle there for you. We also have the autumn winter foam flowers collection. This one's 37.45 or 48.49. Again, three sets of, uh, all four, look at me shortchanging you. Four sets of flower dyes, a, set, a selection of foam and two selections of the stamens in there. And then we've also got the Flower Fairies Character Collection. Over 70% off here. You'll be seeing Sharon a little later this evening at 6 p.m. in the UK, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. That's Rose, Jasmine and Aster that you get in that particular collection there. If you want just Jasmine, $8.99, $10.99 uh, as well in that one. So you, again, really lovely. If you want Asta on its own, you can go for that one. Next slide, please. Uh, which is that one just there. Uh, and then we've, and that's it. 
There we are. Uh, so go and have a little look over on the website. Make sure you hit in the shop, the day button, you'll be able to see all of the products that are coming out. Uh, you'll find that over on the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.au. Hit shop the day, uh, and then you'll see all of the products there. Uh, right then, we're going to go back to Corinne. What's next, Corinne? Where, where did you use Asta? Asta, it's my daughter's middle name. Is it? But she, it's spelled A-S-T-A. Ah. Mm, Asta. Yeah. So is she named after the flower, or is she named after something else? Just like the name. Oh, I just really liked really yeah. it. I love that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I have got the, the fairy and the three layers of her skirt on my stamping platform. And I'm going to use the um, pebble alcohol proof ink. It's just a little bit softer than using a black. If you use a black, it can be a little bit harsh when you're colouring up to it. So if you use um, something a little bit lighter, then, it, you know, it just gives you a little bit more... Um, it, it just looks nicer when you're um, when you're colouring it. So pop tapping that on there again, just nice little taps all over, and it'll do it. And I think I'll probably end up doing a second one. Now I'm putting this onto my Nina card. You can always tell Nina card. Nina card isn't quite as sort of snowy white as your multi-purpose card, um, but it's it really is absolutely the best card for when it comes to doing your colouring. Look at that, I just need a little bit more in a couple of places. Let's just put that on. So she just needs a little bit more on her feet. And I was, which one was it? It was the bottom of that skirt. I'm only just gonna put the ink where I need it. And then we can turn that over. And then it was down there. I didn't press hard enough just there. This is why I like to use a stamping platform. It just means I can go back in. There we go. And we can correct those just like that. Doesn't that look amazing? So what's good? Now, there's no need to start fussy cutting all of these because what I can do is if I can get it off here is I have all of the dies. So for every, let me show you on here, for every, for, not for quite, but, but for most of the dies of the stamps, you can see we've got a die suitable to cut it out. So I've got that one. Actually, I've got, I'm going to use this one because it's just a little bit small trim down a little bit smaller so I can pop that onto there one one two oh yeah three I'm just making sure I've got all of the bits I need to just move that out of the way so we can pop that on there and then we can get the dies and so I need Asta herself then I need the three skirt elements and this is going to give me some gorgeous, gorgeous dimension. Let me just get a bit of tape. There we go, right. So I can put that over here. So I've not coloured it yet. And there's the, the, my reasoning for that is, now it could be easier to do the colouring while it's as a whole, right. because it gives me a bit more scope. But if I go wrong with my die cutting after I have coloured it, then I've just wasted all that time colouring it in. Now, hopefully, you're not going to go wrong with your die cutting, but just say you did, yeah. you, you've potentially... Missed, yeah. So if you cut it first, and then you colour, then you know that should anything go wrong, well, you can just stamp it again. So it just makes it easier. Put that one on there. Just line it up. Just take a minute to line it up and then this one down here so this is going to give me a lot of detail in her skirt put that on there there we go and then that one and then we can run that through just here there we go uh, we've got the winners um they are claire stanford ashby susan dawn shadia hamid lynn harvey and hi meredith so claire stanford ashby susan dawn shadia hamid Lynn Harvey and hi Meredith, please email us prizes at craftscompanion.com is where you need to send them to. Right, let me just grab a piece of paper again so we can then start to do some colouring. There we go. So I've got our gorgeous Aster. I've got then I've got the layers of her skirt. Now these are absolutely beautiful to colour. So, so easy to do. But, I mean, you know, they already it, have quite a lot of dimension, don't they? Just in the stamped image. Exactly. The stamp is giving you a lot of the detail, isn't it? There we go. Take the tape off. 
There we are. Right, let's cover up that. So I have got a few of my pens here. So I'm using my classic. So I've got a couple of my pinks. I've got some skin colours and I've also got some browns as well for hair. So let's just go. Those ones are going to be, I've got brown, brown and brown. And then I've also got, I've got some three pinks and three browns. There we go. So let's start with her skin. So we're going to use these. So the easiest way, I think, is I'm going to put one, oops, wrong end, two, and I think this one's going to be. Do you always swatch them out first? Always. Yeah. If I don't know if anybody saw, I did um, a Facebook post yes, last night. Yes, I saw night, it. Um, and that was me colouring in for the natural beauty stamps tomorrow. Oh, you've tomorrow. got launch tomorrow, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And um, if you notice on, on there, I, I was using, I marked out the colours because what I find then, if I was at home, I would write down which one each one was mm. so that then I can quickly, so if I know that's FS6 and I think, of, yeah, I need a bit more of that on it, I'm not having right. to risk it. It's too many times I've picked up the wrong pen. Right, and okay. done. Now, Good what tip. you have to remember with alcohol pens is they dry a lot lighter. So at the moment, she's looking a little bit quite tanned. She's been on a holiday, hasn't she? She has. She's looking a bit Debbie Fisher. Yes. She was so tanned. Have you seen was how brown she is? I know. Gosh. I can't wait till I go away in the summer. Where are you off to? Wait. Um, France. Nice. Good to see my mum. Perfect. Not seen her for three years. Wow. I know. Just then coming in where I think it might be a little bit darker. And just down here. There we go. Yeah, Mum says it will still be very warm when we go in August. Yes, I can imagine what it's next it's next month I'm going. I can't imagine how hot it's going to be. I haven't looked at the average temperature. I imagine it's going to be in the thirties, you would think, in the south of France, wouldn't you? Oh, nearer forties. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to come back. I'll be one big pork crackling when I come back. <laughs> like one big pork, a walking pork scratching after being in the sun for four days. Do you tan very quickly? Yeah, I do. Oddly, now, when I was in my 20s, I never used to. All I right. don't know what happened, but I got to my 30s and I seem to tan quite fast now. Yeah. I don't know what's changed. Do you use a, a tan accelerator? Um... I think, yeah, it depends. I haven't started using, I feel like I've gone quite brown quite quickly this summer, so I haven't used one. I sometimes use the one, there's one, I won't, well, like I say the brand, the Gatineau one is the one I All love. Right. And you, it's like an everyday moisturiser you use, for body moisturiser you use for the summer, and it has like a bit of a tan accelerator in it. Yeah. And then sometimes I'll take a bit of zhuzh with me as well, just to give me a bit of an extra boost, you know? Always. Yeah. We all need to zhuzh. There we go, right, there we go. So all I'm doing here, just, this is so relaxing, is just adding in the highlights where you think it might need to be a little bit darker. There we go. And what you need to do is remember, your paler colour will bleach out. So what we do is we just colour up to the darker colour and then we come down. Oh, I've gone seven, I wanted six. There we go, let's just come around here and try and bleach a little bit of that out. Otherwise that arm's going to be a bit tanned. Now you can see I have been watching the Academy of Colour with our Leanne. Oh, uh, have you? Yeah. Because I am doing a show at Hobby Maker on the 2nd okay. next week. All about the Academy of Colour. So if anybody, I don't think we've got a show here for a while on the Academy Colour. So if you haven't um, if you haven't bought into it, but you think you fancy going up that next step, mm. that's on the second. So that'll be really interesting. Excellent. If you're here in the UK, you'll be able to join Corinne for that. Yeah. So all I'm doing here is just adding in a little bit of shade where I think it might need to be darker. Start all over first with my lighter colour. Let me just turn that around. Then I'm going in with my dark colour and then just blending them so I haven't got any any lines. There we go. Oh, my tummy's starting to rumble. And Your then tummy's rumbling. What have you got for your lunch? I have got quinoa salad. Oh, made very it yesterday. Fancy. I love that. Yes. Yeah. I had to pop out to go and buy um, a new tap 
because our tap was dripping and the plumber oh, no. and the plumber came and he was like no he said it's going to be cheaper just to put a new tap in so i went and collected a new tap and asked hubby to start making lunch and i came home and i went where's the lunch he went he's there and he'd got quinoa have you ever made quinoa yeah you have to boil it don't you yeah he thought it was like couscous it's you just steep just, it oh right so he just put the poured the water over it yeah. and left it in a bowl and it was still just key it was just still raw quinoa yeah lovely so he got, he got points for effort yeah but yeah yeah i thought oh dear yeah there we are bless him but oh, yes it's very nice i'm gonna have a couscous and i think i'm gonna have couscous for lunch now you've uh, started something in me there this quinoa salad is labelled the Jennifer Aniston salad. Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. Why? I, th I, th I think she eats this quite a lot. It's quinoa, um, red onion, cucumber, pistachios, um, then a salad dressing, um, and then feta cheese on top. Oh, love a bit of feta cheese. Yeah. All sounds utterly delicious. I'm quite looking forward to it. I keep looking at the clock, yeah. 23 minutes. Hmm. It's sad that we can get excited about a salad, isn't well, it? Well, I mean, I get excited about less, to be honest. Um, I think a salad's very exciting, especially on a sunny Saturday, in the, a sunny summer Saturday. Sunny summer salad Saturdays, that's what we're having today. It is. Have you got any lunch with you? Have you got to pop out? I've got to pop out. I'm probably just going to go to the baker's, to be honest. Where's the baker's from here, then? Why the bakers? Because it's close. Where? Oh, just at the end of the, oh, is it? the road. Yeah. Oh, I've not, not noticed it. Yeah. I decided it was going to be good today and well, might have slipped into the golden arches on the way back from the gym this morning for breakfast. Oh, you, you had the coffee. I saw you with the coffee when you came you were back. Saying, How can you go to the gym and then have a sausage muffin on the way home? You're defeating the object. Well, imagine if I'd just stayed home and had the sausage muffin. That's what I was just about to say. Just, just, that's what I was just about to say is, if you hadn't have gone, it would have been so much, so much worse. Now look at that. Can you see, just by adding in that shading, and, but remember, what you have to remember is, your ink will always fade. Now that's looking quite, on that camera, that looks quite harsh, but on here it looks quite blended. So just blend that in all the way. Can you see how gorgeous is that? And then we're really going to do cool. very similar. Now, we're, going, we're launching the Natural Beauty stamps tomorrow, which is all about, it's all about the hair. Um, so you've got lots of detail. This isn't how I would colour the hair for those, because this is quite small. So you can't come in and do, you know, all that, right. the, the strands. So for this, you're just basically just going to have to, you know, come in just and... Just flat colouring here, then? Mm, just barely. I'll still put some shading in, but it's not like the shading we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun tomorrow. That's Colour Me Happy, then. 11am here in the UK, 6am East Coast. Uh, we're launching some brand new stamps for you. Yeah, it's going to be good. They're so, so pretty. And you're going to get an extra 5% off, as <gasps> course, as well, because you're getting the extra 5%, getting a launch with an extra discount. That's amazing. So if you buy them tomorrow, they're cheaper than if you buy them on Monday. Yes, absolutely. Do not miss out. Are they live on the website now, Johnny? Mm. You could go and find them on the website now if you wanted to. They are so gorgeous. I think they will be because I think they might have been on Hobby Maker. Oh, so right. Yeah, go, go and have a look at them over on our website. Get them in your... If you're going to miss the show tomorrow, then... Um, it might be worth getting them now because obviously they're gonna you're not gonna get that five extra five percent off come the end of the weekend. Perfect. So all I'm doing there is just adding in where I think it wants to be. Darker sort of like on her crown, where it's coming out from underneath a fold, just there, and at the roots. She certainly doesn't struggle with problems that I have my roots are not darkest bits but never mind <laughs> there we go i think i might have to I've got, i didn't realize someone took a picture of me from the side the other day 
I didn't realise how grey I was. Because I can't see the sides and the back. I didn't notice it. Yeah, like in the side, it was very grey. I think it was quite long as well, so maybe it looked worse. Yeah. Maybe I have to get a, you know, a bit of just for men on it if, this way, if it continues. A bit of Grecian 3000. And that is what it looks like Beautiful. once you've coloured them on. So you can see exactly the same, but then just keep working it until you get to there. Really lovely. So I can put her to one side for a minute and then I've already stamped the sentiment. Now the sentiment comes in the um, collection again and I'm just going to show you these. So I've already cut them, I'm just mindful of the time. So we have the, this is from the poinsettia set and we've cut them out of foam. So I think, let me grab my craft iron, I think. We're just gonna add a little bit of dimension. I can't do it without some dimension on there. Let's just clear a little bit of space, get all that. And you'll also see we've cut those autumn leaves out as well. So let's just get everything ready while that warms up. My craft iron is very fast and we can just do this. So we only need a couple of flowers. So we've got all of these cut from here. There we it's go. 30 degrees in today in the south of France. James, <gasps> let me know. Wow. Delicious. Perfect for me, that. Yes. You see, I like it warm. I like it warm. Works for me too. Okay, so let's come in with the first one. Pop that on. There we go. Oh, look at that. And then I'm just going to, with my ball tool, can you still see? Sorry, I'm trying to fit everything onto my, onto my mat. Just add in a little bit of dimension while it's warm. And what you can then do is turn it over that way. And look at that. Can you see how that's shaping? To me, it just looks so much nicer than having them totally flat. Put that on there. Oops, there you go. And then we can come onto the mat. It's very rare that I don't add some, if I'm doing foam, that I don't add some level of shaping on there. How quick is this? Onto so there. fast, isn't it? <laughs> With the iron as well, I know you use a craft iron, some people use a usual iron. Yep. Is there a heat setting on a craft iron? Is it just on or off? No, there's three settings on there. Okay. I always have it on the warmest one. Brilliant. We've actually got a normal iron just down there, but I brought this one with me because I just find it, it's a nice size. But look at how it curls up. Mm. So I'm not having to do anything other than turn it over, put it on my foam mat, just open that one out. I don't want it to, to set like that. And then just press down. Have I got... That is my smallest ball tool. There we go. Uh, remember what's happening for the rest of the day here, then on Crafter TV. We're going to have that flower form, flower foam. Flower forming flower, masterclass. Let's just call it a flower masterclass. There you go. That'll do. Uh, that'll be 2 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. on the East Coast. Uh, two hours there. And then, of course, myself and... Well, just... Uh, no, that'll be coming done for the day. It will. Uh, and then myself and Sharon Callis will be here for... The Craft House, which will be excellent, so you can be in, come and join us for that. We've got some brilliant, brilliant pricing across that Craft House show, uh, and Sharon will be joining us live on Skype, which will be glorious. That'll be really good. I haven't seen Sharon for so oh, long. Oh, she's so hilarious, isn't she? She is. She just makes me giggle. She really does. Not sure if I'm supposed to, but yes, she just makes me, she makes me giggle. She's such a funny lady. I must be... Gosh, it must be three, three and a half years since I last saw her. Wow. I saw him. Do you remember the time she got lost trying to get back to the hotel? I wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> I've, made her, I've made her tell the story on air several times. Oh, gosh, it was funny, wasn't it, Corinne? I was... I, oh, I was there I the next morning. I was, I was at the studio the next morning when she finally came back. <laughs> She's very funny. Makes me laugh, though. I... She, whenever she comes over, if she comes over to the UK, she comes with um, empty suitcases. Hmm. Then she goes into a craft shops. Really? Fills oh, them? Yeah, just fills them. Absolutely. Right, now you can see all of those have got just a little bit of shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, just take these. Where's my glue gun gone? Glue gun over here. Tiniest little, again, keep the glue really small amounts. And then we're going to just pop them like that and then now I'm supposed to do two flowers of this we might only get one flower out of this because I might actually use all of these petals up again just pressing in there actually that might do 
So what we're going to do then is put that one in, oops, stagger that, take it back over to my foam mat and then just press down and that's flattening that glue. There we go, flatten that nicely and then we're going to come in with the next ones. So in the masterclass this afternoon we're going to use dyes and foam together. Right. We're going to use dyes and paper together okay. to show you that the same dyes will work just as well on paper as they will on foam just so that you can see you've got options and then we're also going to do if we get a chance and Johnny lets me I shall try and finish off that rose that I started that gave you a sneak peek of earlier and you don't need any dyes but if you buy the um, the foam you can make that just Perfect. with the foam so you know you can see how you can do the different levels so there we go so just put that in there back end of my pokey tool now what we're going to do then is you're going to take your pokey tool nice and clean hopefully and pop that straight through the middle if you're tall and sure pop it onto your foam mat and then on this one now this is quite small so the glue will actually help you to have a space there we go through there oh come on there we go now what i've got here is i've got a piece of floristry wire just a regular piece of floristry wire it doesn't have to be anything special and then i've got some stamens so we're going to take our stamens now i usually like to go for as many stamens as i think now these are quite small flowers so i'm going to limit this to quite a few but when we start making flowers this afternoon we'll be using six seven even possibly eight stamens in one flower so that would then double up because they're double-ended so you know you really can the more stamens you put in the more beautiful it looks so straight through the middle of that hole you can give it a really good tug it won't hurt and then pull that through now I can take the wire off and then I can hold that just there and then just pop a little bit of glue around there and I'm just going to turn that upside down oh so you can't see I'm just going to put it upside down on my desk and then I'm going to grab these two stamens this piece of floristry wire back and pop that through there now what you have to remember is because I have heat I've used heat on these flowers they are slightly smaller than if I hadn't used heat on them but that's not a problem you know if necessary you might have to think about making a couple of extra flowers if it's a bit smaller the heat will shrink the foam it only maybe shrinks it about 10 percent or so but it will be a little bit smaller a little bit of glue there we go do a little wiggle i think i need another glue stick okie doke just warm uh, up. joe i was in stitches over that story bless us as rebecca white i think that's uh sharon um, callis's terrible navigation story uh mira says i'm definitely coloring and making flowers today. this has been very inspiring treasure heart says i have only ever made paper flowers guess i need to bring out some foam and give it a go why Certainly not do. Uh, and mary pat saying good morning to everyone from montana hey mary pat good morning right so just adding a little bit of dimension to this there we go and there's my Aster. so we've got all of the bits done so let's move these out of the way so i've got a card base so all we've done here folded over a piece of card and then trimmed off one of the corners just need to move that out of the way because i'm a bit accident prone and then we can start layering up let's just pop this on it's just nice to do a card that's a slightly different shape so we've got our gorgeous pink cardstock first and um, so I think this is just just pink card just pink card now you can go pattern side or not so pattern side it's entirely up to you but I think it might detract if we put the really pattern side on so let's go on here there we are and then we're going to do the same on the front there we awesome. go awesome and then onto here. So that is my card front done. Perfect. And then we're going to get our lovely Asta, and she's going to just stand 
just on there really graceful so she's going to be partly on and partly off the card so let's put plenty of tape on and then just pop her just isn't she elegant so so pretty and then we're going to get a skirt now i got my dimensional glue because another one this is something that i use quite a lot is my dimensional glue and we're just going to pop this on first if i can get it to pop out there we go that's the end out and that's going to go just on there and that's going to go just round her waist and then the second layer such a pretty pretty fairy i do think she's gorgeous. really gorgeous isn't it just build it up and i'm just lifting up a little bit each time because i don't want to cause a big lump so what i'm doing is just popping each one a little bit higher upper body and then i had a sentiment here it is come on pick it up pick up my sentiment there we go and again you could use foam pads but for speed i'm going to use my um, glue gel because that'll just let me do that quicker put that on there then i'm going to bring in these flowers now i've left those ends on i can just now the glue's dry i can just trim those off and then we can pop our flowers on now this is one time i am actually going to start putting my foliage on first i've got some glue strings oh, it's coming off there let's put a little bit of foliage on here let's just put one and i'm coming right can you see right off the page because it's really nice we were talking about this previously sort of breaking those um the borders down with them and really um creating some dimension just changing how it looks so we'll put that one on there and then let's get this one on here little twiddle wow this glue gun is so hot we're going to get wishy wishy glue hmm? we're going to get wafty glue yep we just <laughs> did a few little little wafts little wafts yeah grace stand by your bed it's going to be a very quick vote okay <laughs> right there All we three go three cards have been incredible today corinne they really have been amazing let me just bring that so there we can see that gorgeous gorgeous flower with the um poinsettia doesn't look like a poinsettia does no, it just it looks really like a beautiful flower so should we have a look at what we've made so the first one we did was with those peonies beautiful i love a peony very different then the next one we did was with the sharon callis flowers and her gorgeous frame and then the third one we did was the flower fairy and the beautiful poinsettia amazing absolutely stunning they really so, really are uh right get your votes in one two or three you've got a couple of minutes to get those in do you want to talk about these johnny johnny can't remember what <laughs> john's like yeah yeah we'll talk about these what are these ones <laughs> uh heartfelt greetings because they're amazing you get uh well you pay for one and you get four get four i know I amazing isn't it happy birthday do you know what these give you as well corinne what do they give you Jim? opportunity to craft opportunity opportunity very good yeah i know i said that one so i came up with that one it's one of my catchphrases thinking of you and hey there's so many i can't remember what they are uh 11 11 24 if you platinum i don't know what's going on johnny you need a fisherman's friend or something i think um right the weekend saver bag got to tell you about this very very busy now brilliant thing with this is you're buying one of the craft boxes so it is craft box number 39 that you are getting everything you'd expect in there over 220 elements all that you need to make at least 24 cards which is amazing but what you are getting is a free mystery bag worth 55 pounds 91 or 75 55 at least and it's going to have nine incredible embossing folders in there so you've got uh, loads in here lots and lots of value and this will work with all of the contents as well of that incredible craft box which is amazing so do not miss out on that you will of course if you buy more than one of these you will get some duplicates um 
but uh, of course, and that you will get uh, its contents may vary. Demo of the show is number one, Corrie. That which, very uh, first one. Yes, oh, the very first very one. Very first one. There we go. Thank you. How awesome is that? Amazing. Absolutely great. Uh, really looking forward to uh, that masterclass show. Mm. We'll be seeing lots of different things you were saying. We will. Let's have a quick look. So if we get a chance, I'll show you how to oh, make I this really rose. Oh, I really see that. Yeah, so that's without any dyes whatsoever. Then we've also got some gorgeous flowers, a bit like we've done now. We've also got, that's the poinsettia that we just did. And we're going to do it with paper. And we've got the gorgeous hydrangea. And we're going to use our heat to shape it like that. Very simple to do that. And um, yeah, so it'll just be more and more. And I think I've got another one in my bag as well. So yeah, it's just going to be more and more just like that. Brilliant. Really, really excited for that. Remember, you're getting... Uh you are getting uh, an extra 5% off everything, all Club Inspire members, which of course every one of you is. So make sure you take advantage of that. Don't forget to check out your basket. It's been a very, very busy play, your crafts right. Congratulations, uh, of course, to our winners. Uh, we will see you uh, back here in an hour's time. Take care. Bye.